This is the real HTML lesson number 18. I'm sorry I said that in the last lesson. However, I'm going to correct that in this lesson by saying this is the real HTML lesson number 18. All right, let's go on. What am I going to teach you in this lesson? Well, what if you wanted to display the name, address, and telephone number of a particular person in your web page? and you wanted the person's name on one line, the person's address on another line, and the person's telephone number on a third line. You say, well, we'll just use the paragraph tags. You could, but you can use something else. And I'm gonna show you how to do that right now. All right, obviously we're gonna need some HTML tags. Oops. Okay, we're obviously going to need some paragraph tags, otherwise nothing's going to be displayed. Oops. Alright, we're going to use some big tags. Oops. Guess I better do this right. Okay. Like I said, it's always a good idea to have the set of tags instead of just putting one tag here and one tag there because sometimes you forget your ending tags and when you do, it messes up your whole um, web page. Okay. Okay, we've got some bold tags right here. All right, now we're going to put it put in somebody's name. Let's uh There's somebody's name. Okay. Now, at this point what you're going to do is you're going to type in This is a rare HTML tag. This one does not have an ending tag. Okay? So, now, there are variations to this tag if you're using HTML5 or if you're using XHTML, then there are some variations. However, on a normal basis, this is what you put in. You don't have to put in an ending tag. There is no ending tag to this, okay? This is your break, okay? Now, we'll type in an address. And we're going to type in another BR, just like that. And then we'll type in um, a city and a state. Or in this case, we'll just type in, whoops. I think that'll work. Okay, so on this last one, we've, we've typed in 123 Apple Street. Now we've typed in Anywhere USA. So I'm just going to kind of glide this across here. Let you see this. Okay. Now then, most of these tags you should be already familiar with. This is not so familiar, but you're kind of getting the idea. All right, now, how will all this display? Okay, what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit uh, File, Save As. We're gonna save this to your HTML student folder and your My Documents folder. Okay, you have the My Documents folder, you have the HTML student subfolder, and this is where we're gonna save this to. This time we're gonna save this as BR, hang on, B. Sometimes my keyboard gives me a fit. So bear with me. Break.html. So we're going to save this as break.html. All right. Now, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to open up the HTML student folder. We already know where it is. We're going to look up break.html. And look what displays. Tom Jones is on the first line, 123 Apple Street is on the second line, and Anywhere USA is on the third line. There you go. All right, 
I will tell you more in a future video, so I want you to stay tuned.